We are here at Ali and You, the business success and lifestyle show. And let me ask you, as an entrepreneur, have you ever had those times where you felt a little isolated? I know I had those times when I was working at home and, and I knew it was really a problem one day when I went to the post office and I was like, people! So <laughs> I knew I needed to start connecting with others. But sometimes when you are you know, getting your business going, you're not ready to drop a bunch of money into a big office and staff but you, would, you feel disconnected and you really would like to be around others and to help you get away from things at home that distract you. Well, now there is an answer. I'm really excited because my guest here today is Felina Hansen, who is the president and founder of Hera Hub here in San Diego, and she's got a remedy for that problem. So welcome, Felina. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Of course. And I'm so excited you're here because I've been watching your rise with Hera Hub and so many people talking about it, and it's you. and every you know, women entrepreneurs are loving it. Yes. So why don't you, let's start out by you just telling us a little bit about Hera Hub, what it is, and uh, you know how it's going to change the face of doing business. Great question. So Hera Hub is a shared workspace for, specifically we serve female entrepreneurs. And the question I always get asked is why women? Um, men of course are welcome in the space, but it's a membership model and the model is focused specifically on female entrepreneurs. I find that women tend to connect differently, we're very collaborative, mm -hmm. and we're very social. And yes. so it's the market niche that I serve. So it's, as you mentioned, it's for women that are primarily solopreneurs that work from home and don't need full-time office space, but they need a place to go once in a while to kind of get out of that isolation mode. Also a place to focus. Working from home can be very distracting. Laundry and, and kids and a lot of things happening. So a professional place to go, a professional place to meet with clients as well. We have meeting and conference room space, but also a, a larger open, what I call cafe style co-working space with a spa environment. So it has the soft touches, um, beautiful decor, candles, soft music, yeah. a place that, that is inviting, but yet again, a great place to get work done but also connect with other like-minded entrepreneurial women. Fantastic. Doesn't that sound amazing? Go to the spa every day. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but so, I, you know, when you're home, you know that feeling, you walk into the room, you're looking for a pen, and all of a sudden you see the room is in disarray, and what do you want to do? You want to clean it. And then you, you're not taking care of your work and you get really distracted. So to have a place that you can go where you really can focus on your work, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? It absolutely does. I mean, the women that work out of this space report uh, that they're up to twice as productive. They get more done in less time and it's cost effective. To your point, you know, entrepreneurs can't afford nor do they need full-time office space. It's expensive and you don't know where your business is going to be in a year or two, so why make that long-term commitment? So it's just month to month. Right. Membership starts at $69 a month, so it's really yeah, cost so effective. affordable. Yeah. And really we we need to watch our bottom line whatever stage that we are Absolutely. in our business. So Absolutely. Um, well, tell us first and we'll get on in a little bit more about Hera Hub. How did you get this idea, you know, or how did you even decide, you know what, I want to start a business? Yeah, well, I've been an entrepreneur for nine years now. Okay. Prior to this, I was into, kind of got into entrepreneurship the forced way. I was laid off. I was director of marketing for a high tech company. Okay. And I started my own business. At that point, I said, you know what, I need to have control of my destiny. Right. And I did marketing strategy consulting for small businesses for eight years. Okay. And worked out of my home and didn't need full time office space, but had many challenges as it related to focus, meeting clients. I worked at a lot of startups, so we were meeting at Starbucks. Right. Really not professional. Especially if the cappuccino machine <laughs> yes. is going really loud or somebody's exactly. really loud on their cell phone. Yes, exactly. One of my biggest pet peeves yes. ever. Can't find a plug, can't find a table, etc. So it really grew out of my need and I also simultaneously was running several professional women's groups such as Ladies Who Launch yes. and needed workshop and event space. So was always struggling to find a hotel that wasn't going to charge an arm and a leg, borrow somebody's boardroom. So it was really the need both for you know my workspace but also that sense of community and then workshop space as well. Right. And you know we've talked about on some of the other shows being an entrepreneur is about being an inventor and an inventor is it's like 
the mother of necessity. You find a need or a niche in the marketplace and that's exactly what you're saying is here yeah. you your own struggles of finding a place that you can meet clients. So that gave you the idea yeah. of doing this. Absolutely. And I'm not the only one who struggles with it. Just even here in San Diego, there's over 8,000 women that work from home. And wow, yeah. 8,000 yes. women in just San Diego? It, just I in had San no Diego. idea, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, and so we just launched in August, we're brand new, we're growing very quickly. We have over 120 women entrepreneurs working out of the space. That's it's, fast. Yes, it is fast. Fantastic, yeah. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And looking for new space, we're looking for a second location in Mission Valley and a third location in Carlsbad by the end of the year. Wow, I love it. So, well, let's talk about a little bit with, because one of the things that we do on the show is to really, to help you entrepreneurs to move past your roadblocks and so that you can create as much success as you desire in your business and your life. Where do you find in working with so many women, I'm sure there's some common themes that you hear that women struggle with in their business. Absolutely, uh, doubt is a big piece of it. You know, when you work for yourself, by yourself, and you're working out of your spare bedroom and you're talking to your cat all day, yes, uh -huh. it's I've easy. Done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to start to doubt yourself. And you know, am I on the right path? What am I doing? Am I crazy? Especially, you know, if you don't have an entrepreneurial family or support structure around you. You know, you might get that nudge of, hey, when are you going to get a real job kind of right. thing? Mm -hmm. And so that self doubt creeps in. So you really need to surround yourself with other like minded people. It is so, so important. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why I have my Pinnacle Mastermind group for the exact same reason because it is the people around you that aren't entrepreneurs, they think you're nuts. Yes. They see you putting all this time and energy in and, you know, and having your stress moments. But if they can come to Hair Hub, and they're surrounded with people going, you know what, Susie, it's okay, yes. I get it, and it just keeps you going. Absolutely, yeah, and just those moments, I have an idea, can I bounce this off of somebody? Right. Um, and, and business is done there. Women are meeting each other, they're collaborating, they're building their business, doing business directly with other members, getting more referrals, so, you know, being prosperous is also important in business Oh my as well. gosh, <laughs> yes, to, you, to run a business, you must be turning a good profit, that's the whole point, point. and sometimes women, struggle with that a little bit, we, right? I have those conversations a lot. It's, you know, gosh, I'm going to give them a break. They're a nonprofit. They can pay me later. We're really accommodating. And so right. really getting those reminders of this is a business, right. you know, You've you need to, to take care of yourself. To pay your bills yes. and you're putting your time and expertise into what you do and you've got to be well compensated for it. Absolutely. So what are, what are some other areas that women struggle with in business? Yeah, um, other than, than isolation, um, which we've talked about, right. that's a big piece as well. Um, you know, how to, how to market themselves. I mean, it's, you know, it's a new frontier as you were just talking right. about Facebook and, and there's a lot of questions out there. So we host a lot of workshops. We really act as a platform. So our members step up and say, I'm gonna do a workshop on Facebook timeline or on Pinterest right. or some of the new things that are out there. And as an entrepreneur, um, unfortunately, your number one task is marketing. And yeah. unless you can get customers in the door, you're not in business. And right. so even though you're the best interior designer in town, if nobody knows about you, you're not going to make it. Yeah, so. absolutely. That's, that's why I tell people, even if you have a, a web business, if you pretend like your homepage is a storefront, yes. and it's just hanging in, you know, back in some lot and nobody knows you're there, or you have you know, this great new product and nobody knows about it, but you've got a marketing background. I I've got a marketing background. And I had no idea when I launched that business in, in my 20s how that was going to benefit me in everything that I did. So I'm sure having that marketing background yes. has really helped you. It absolutely has. I love your logo design oh, and everything thank too. You. That's thank beautiful. You. A so, lot of thought and meaning went into everything that relates to Hera Hub. The name, Hera being the Greek goddess of women. So there's, you know, being that marketing background, I spent a lot of time and really wanted to put forward something that resonated and had meaning for people. Now tell me, do you have any examples of some women that you know were working at home and now they've made this shift and, and how that's making a difference? Absolutely. One I'll mention out of the 120, because there are many, but her name is Nicole McDonald. She has a one-year-old daughter at home and a six-year-old son. Um, so she's a mom and obviously that's her first priority, but she's also a graphic designer and does product development work and she works from home and the big challenge for her is focus she has a lot of conference calls she has clients around the country 
and she's on the phone and her little one is fussing and yeah. it just doesn't quite work. It's yes, hard to focus. Yes, I remember those days. Yes, so she comes into the office just a day or two a week just to have that focus time. But she's really benefited leaps and bounds because she's gotten a lot of business out of it, a lot of referrals. And she's been through our incubator program, which we just launched and had an opportunity to pitch to investors through that uh, five week program. So she's really gained a lot, I think, <laughs> out yeah. of being a Hera Hub member. Well, that must feel really good it does. to see uh, the difference that you're making for these women. I love that. And you're going to be taking, uh, you know, Hera Hub is going to be, if some of you are in Boston or you're in Tennessee, you're like, I want to do that. Well, don't worry because <laughs> Felina is coming to your town. You have plans to take Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. 2013 is all about extant, expansion outside of San Diego and it'll likely be through a licensing model. So leveraging the brand and the model and teaching women in other cities who lead a female entrepreneurial community how to launch a Hera Hub in their city. Fantastic. So why don't you share with everybody how they can reach you? Absolutely. So we've got a great website with a ton of information. It's Hera, H-E-R-A, Hub, H-U-B, dot com. And my contact information is on there. Feel free to get in touch with me and facebook.com forward slash Hera Hub. Fantastic. Well, I'm really excited myself and uh, I've actually some of my Pinnacle members uh, are members at the Hera Hub, so I'm a huge supporter and fan myself. Now, don't go away because if you are sitting there and saying, I'm ready to take big leaps and bounds in my business, but I've got a lot of fear and you need some more courage muscles, I'm going to teach you how to hone and harness that courage. Two minutes, we'll be right back.